One of the first skills a student pilot will learn is climbing at a specific airspeed. When flying an Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172s, there are three constant airspeed climbs that will be used regularly that all student pilots should learn. These are published airspeeds in an aircraft's pilot's operating handbook and do vary with the conditions, the most prominent being weight. By learning the sight pictures that provide these constant airspeed climbs, pilots can quickly initiate the specific climb type they desire based on the environment and desired performance while climbing. VX is the airplane's best angle of climb or the greatest amount of altitude gain over distance traveled. In Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172s, the published airspeed for our VX climb in the pilot's operating handbook is 62 knots indicated airspeed at maxed gross weight. VX climbs are used for clearing obstacles immediately after takeoff or clearing terrain during climb out to cruise altitude. When taking off and climbing at VX, a pilot should ensure their throttle is full forward to produce the most thrust. Then they should reference their wings to ensure the aircraft is climbing. The leading edge of the wing should be further above the horizon than the trailing edge when in a climb. After referencing the wings, a pilot should reference the position of the horizon in relation to their instrument panel. The pilot should pitch the aircraft's nose up by adding back elevator pressure and place the horizon about halfway between the top and bottom of the PFD and MFD. The pilot should then direct their eyes to the left between the window post and instrument panel for better visibility in the climb. Once this is accomplished, the pilot should reference their attitude indicator, which should show a nose up pitch of 14 degrees. They should also reference their airspeed indicator to ensure they are climbing out at 62 knots indicated airspeed. VY is the airplane's best rate of climb, or greatest altitude gain over time. In Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172's, the published airspeed for a VY climb in the pilot's operating handbook is 74 knots indicated airspeed at max gross weight. VY climbs are used for climbing to the desired cruise altitude quickly or climbing to a minimum safe altitude quickly immediately after takeoff or a go around. When taking off and climbing at VY, a pilot should ensure their throttle is full forward to produce the most thrust. Then they should reference their wings to ensure the aircraft is climbing. The leading edge of the wing should be further above the horizon than the trailing edge when in a climb. After referencing the wings, a pilot should then reference the position of the horizon in relation to their instrument panel. The pilot should pitch the aircraft's nose up by adding back elevator pressure and place the horizon on the top of the PFD and MFD. The pilot should then direct their eyes to the left between the window post and instrument panel for better visibility in the climb. Once this is accomplished, the pilot should reference their attitude indicator, which should show a nose up pitch of 10 degrees. They should also reference their airspeed indicator to ensure they are climbing out at 74 knots indicated airspeed. A cruise climb, also called an en route climb, provides the pilot with an effective rate of climb, better forward visibility, and better engine cooling than VX and VY. In Epic Flight Academy Cessna 172's, the published airspeed for a cruise climb in the pilot's operating handbook is between 75 and 85 knots indicated airspeed, at max gross weight. Typically, the pilot will take into account weight, density altitude, and temperature when selecting what speed. For example, an airplane operated in a hot climate near sea level will likely benefit the most from an 85 knot climb, whereas an airplane operated out of a high elevation airport with cooler temperatures will need something close to 75 or 80 knots, since 85 might result in excessively low rate of climb. While training at Epic Flight Academy, pilots should transition to a cruise climb at an altitude of about 1,000 feet above ground level. They should transition into a cruise climb to aid in cooling the engine and providing better visibility to scan for traffic and terrain. When transitioning to cruise climb, a pilot should ensure their throttle is full forward to produce the most thrust. Then they should reference their wings to ensure the aircraft is climbing. The leading edge of the wing should be further above the horizon than the trailing edge when in a climb. After referencing the wings, the pilot should then reference the position of the horizon in relation to their instrument panel. The pilot should pitch the aircraft's nose up by adding back elevator pressure and place the horizon on the top of the glare shield. The pilot should then direct their eyes to the left between the window post and instrument panel for better visibility in the climb. Once this is accomplished, the pilot should reference their attitude indicator which should show a nose up pitch of 8 degrees. They should also reference their airspeed indicator to ensure they are climbing out at 85 knots indicated airspeed. 
It is important to understand that these sight pictures are starting points for pilots to properly configure their aircraft in the desired constant airspeed climb. These sight pictures may vary slightly based on seating position, pilot height, and environmental conditions. This is why a pilot must also cross-check their instruments to ensure they are getting the desired airspeed in their climb. They then make small corrections to their pitch to catch the airspeed they want. Lowering the nose will increase the airspeed, and raising the nose will decrease the airspeed. Once they have captured the desired airspeed while climbing, a pilot should trim out any unwanted control pressures to maintain their constant airspeed climb. Be sure to like our video and subscribe for more epic content. And while you're here, check out some of our more recent videos and playlists.